Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with generating functions, uh, we're just going to consider a few more examples, and in particular these examples have been taken from the Oscar Levin uh, site, a great site that deals with discrete mathematics, uh, so just maybe just to, just to cite that particular site, it's by Oscar uh, Levin. Uh, and these examples, uh, these are nice, some nice examples to, for us to maybe consider. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to uh, list down here some uh, sequences that we want to we want to construct the generating functions for. And let's say the first sequence A is simply the even the even natural numbers two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. Let's say the next sequence, sequence B. Uh, let's say it's the sequence that begins with three zeros. Okay followed by the even natural numbers, okay? Uh, C is the sequence that looks like it's one, followed by a five, followed by a 25, followed by 125, dot, dot, dot. Uh, D is the alternating sequence, one, minus three, nine, minus 27, and 81, dot, dot, dot. Uh, Let's say E is the sequence one, zero, five, 0, 25, 0, 125, 0, dot, dot, dot. Uh, and F, let's say, is the sequence 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 4, dot, dot, dot. Okay? So some of these sequences have previous ones embedded in them. For example, sequence A, here's the natural numbers. And you can see that sequence B contains the natural numbers, but they're shifted three places uh, to the right-hand side. Uh, sequence C seems to be that every term, every term is a multiple of a previous term. So the second term here, the 5, is 5 times the previous one. The 25 is 5 times the previous one. The 125 is 5 times the previous one. This sequence here seems to have... Uh, two things going on with it. Okay? It seems to be that every term, other than the first, yeah, is three times the previous term. So this is three times the first. This is three times the second. This is three times the third. And 81 is three twenty sevens. But more importantly, it's also, also alternating from positive to negative, positive to negative, and positive to negative, and so on. So we need a way to introduce this alternating uh, sequence, uh, as well as being able to encode up a sequence that uh, each term is a multiple of a previous term. Uh, sequence, uh, sequence E, you can see that we have 1, 0, 5, 0, 25. This seems to encode sequence C. Uh, but what we have is we have we have an alternating situation where sequence C, between each term, we have a zero. So between the 1 and the 5 is a zero. Between the 5 and the 25 is a zero, and so on. So we're still going to use sequence C, but we're going to make a modification to it to actually introduce a zero. And sequence F, well, sequence F seems to have three things in there. We have the 1, 2, 3, 4, which seems to be the natural numbers. Uh, but between each natural number, we have two zeros. And also, the natural numbers seem to be shifted across uh, by one place. Okay, so that's uh, another thing just to keep in mind here. So, what we're going to rely upon is we're going to rely upon some fundamental generating functions to help us with these, uh, and we're also going to rely upon some of the generating functions that are associated with 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 these particular sequences as well. So, let's just recall. Let's just recall. Uh, that the generating function for, let's say, the sequence of constant constant ones, okay? the constant sequence uh, of ones, uh, is simply, uh, let's call it g subscript 1 of x, is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x. Let's also recall from a previous video, uh, we also have uh, the sequence the sequence of natural numbers, which is one, two, three, four, dot, 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 which we developed in the previous video. Let's call that G subscript N of X for the naturals. And that's simply equal to one over one minus X squared. Okay. So before we move before we move on, let's just let's just do some modifications to these particular sequences. Let's take, let's take, let's let's call this sequence. Uh, let's call this sequence one and this sequence two. So let's just take sequence one, which is the which is uh, the constant sequence. So let's just take sequence one, okay? And let's just do some. Let's just multiply sequence one by a particular value, okay? So let's say we multiply it by two. So this will become two, 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 two. 
uh, which is equivalent to, don't forget the generating function for this particular sequence is g1 of x, uh, which is 1 over 1 minus x. The generating function associated with this particular sequence, the sequence of constant twos, is simply two times the previous sequence. So it's going to be two times, it's going to be two times uh, g1 of x, which gives us 2 over 1 minus x. And we could probably label that as g2 of x, g subscript 2, which represents the sequence of constant, constant twos. Let's do something else with the constant sequence, okay? Let's take uh, the 1, 1, 1, 1, dot, dot, dot. Uh, its generating function, once again, is g1 of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. And let's do a substitution. So let's look at its power series. Its power series, okay? Its power series looks something like this. Uh, it's x0 plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus dot, dot, dot. And let's make a substitution. Let's substitute for x's. Let's substitute x squared. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to substitute in x squared just to see what happens to this particular power series. Don't forget the power series encodes a particular sequence. Uh, so what we have is this will be x squared to the power of 0 plus x squared to the power of 1 plus x squared to the power of 2 plus x squared to the power of 3 plus dot, dot, dot which gives us another power series. Don't forget, this is the equivalent to two times zero is zero. So this is x to the zero plus two times one is two, x to the two plus two times two is four. So this is x to the four plus two times three is six. So this is x to the six plus dot, dot, dot. So we have terms that are missing. Okay? So effectively, if I, so if I say expand this out with the missing terms, this becomes x to the zero plus just zero x to the ones plus x to the twos plus 